Good morning, class. Happy Tuesday. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about the vocabulary yesterday. Um, today we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be reading our bridge text for the story, The Fox and the Geese. Um, before we start reading, we'll go over our vocab like we do every day in class. Um, and then we will read our bridge text, okay? So remember, what is our first vocab word? Say cackled. Good. Remember, cackled means to cry out really loud. So baby birds cackle for their moms. Geese cackle when they're all together. It's just crying out really loudly, okay? Our second word is flock. So flock is a group of animals that travel together. So think about a, a flock of birds, a flock of sheep, just animals that go um, places together and uh, lots of animals together. Our third vocab word is meadow. So meadow is just a big, huge grassy land, right? Somewhere we can see lots and lots of grass. Um, so meadows have lots of grass and lots of flowers. Our fourth vocab word is reasonable. So reasonable uh, means something that makes sense, it's logical, or it's fair. Okay, so the answer was reasonable, the price was re reasonable. So the produce here, it's a reasonable price. It's a fair price to pay for those fruits and vegetables. Um, and it's a reasonable request um, for Ms. Harmon to assign homework for you guys so you guys can continue for your brain to grow and to learn. Um, it's a reasonable request. The last word I just said it is request. So request is just to ask for something. So when you are at a restaurant, you you can request um, for a soda. Or when you're in class, you can request to go to the bathroom. Or request to have fun Friday. Or request to watch a certain movie. Um, just asking for something. That's what the word request means. Okay? So let's go ahead and turn our pages turn our books to the next page and we're going to read the our bridge text for the fox and the geese. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to look at all the pictures and we're going to um, predict what might the story be about. Okay, so in the title it already says the fox and the geese. So we know it's about um, a fox and it looks like more than one goose, right? Geese. Um, a, flock, um, a flock of these types of birds is called geese. Okay, so one goose is just one goose, but if there's more than one goose, then they're called geese. Um, a little tricky. So let's look at these pictures, and I know earlier this school year, it was quite a while ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but we did read about a fox who was quite sly and quite tricky. Um, and now we're going to read about, it looks very similar to be the same fox, but in a different situation. So he might be faced with a problem, or maybe the geese are faced with a problem. Um, and they're going to figure a way to get out of it, okay? So if we look at the progression of these pictures, it looks like um, the geese, the fox is walking through a meadow, runs into a flock of geese. Um, looks like he's smiling here. Uh-oh, he might be a sly fox. Um, and looks like he's going to be talking to the geese right here. And then what does it look like the geese are doing here? Do you remember our vocab word? Right, they're cackling. Ah, rah, rah, making lots of noise, right? Because they're probably scared. And then... This one looks like it may be talking to the fox. And the fox is thinking about what the goose said. And then this picture looks like they continue to either cackle at the fox or I don't know what they're doing, but the fox is just standing there. So um, maybe the geese found a way out of the problem that they faced, okay? Because probably the fox wants to eat the geese. Um, so let's see if the geese found a way to get um, away from the fox and not get eaten today, okay? So the fox and the geese. Picture one. Make sure you guys are following along. Highlight or circle your vocab words as Ms. Harmon is reading to you. Okay? A fox came to a meadow. Good. Remember, a meadow is just a big grassy land. Okay? He, picture two. He saw a flock of geese. Right? So did he see, just see one goose or did he see lots of geese? Right? Three geese. So they're a flock. So they're all together. Picture three. The fox smiled. Hmm. Picture four. I will eat you, the fox said. Picture five. The geese cackled in fear. Picture six. Please let us sing one more song, said one goose. Hmm. Do you think they could be tricking the fox? Maybe. Picture seven. Your request is reasonable, said the fox. I will eat when the song ends. Picture eight. The geese are still singing today. 
right? So what did the geese do? They tricked the fox, right? They asked him to sing one more song, but then they never stopped singing, so the fox will never eat them, right? So the problem that the geese faced was they ran into this fox, and the fox wanted to eat them, which is never good. And they had to think, and they had to problem solve, how can we get away from this fox? We can't run. He might get one of us. We can't hide. He already sees us. So what can we do? So they used their brain, right? And they tricked the fox, right? They said, can we sing one more song? And the fox agreed, and then the geese just never stopped singing, so the fox never ate the geese. Pretty smart geese, if you ask me. Right, guys? Okay, my friends, so let's talk about what happened in the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story, and then at the end of the story. Okay? And then we're going to fill out one of our flow charts um, in a few pages, but we're going to talk about it first. So what I want you guys to look at first is um, the first two pictures here. Okay? What is happening in those first two pictures? What do you think? Right? The fox sees the geese. Okay? And what does the fox tell the geese? That he's going to eat them. Right? So that happens in these pictures right here. What happens in the middle of the story? What do the geese do once the fox says he wants to eat them? Right? They cackle in fear. They're really scared. And what do they ask the fox? If they can sing one more song. Okay? And then what happens last? The geese trick the fox, right? And they just keep on singing so the fox can never eat them. All right, guys, so I want you guys to go forward a few pages. So you're going to forward one, two, and three. And your book should just look just like this. We're going to be focusing on this right here, okay? What happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So Ms. Harmon is going to type out what we just talked about. Um, and I want you guys to copy it, okay? And then talk about it with mom and dad all the things that are happening at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So if you guys want to flip back to your books for a minute and think about it again, look at those first four pictures. What does the fox do, right? The fox sees the geese and says and tells them he is going to eat them, okay? So that happened in those first four pictures, all right? Now look at the next two pictures. What happens in the next two pictures? How are the geese feeling once the fox says he wants to eat them? Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they scared? Which one? Good, right? The geese are scared and ask the fox to do what? Right? To sing one more song. One more song. Okay. And then what happens at the end of the story? Why did the geese ask to sing one more song? What were they doing? Were they trying, were they just wanting to sing before the fox ate them? Or what were they trying to do, right? They're trying to trick the fox and it works. So the geese trick the fox and never stop singing, which means the fox will never be able to eat them. Okay. So the geese were faced with a problem, right? They ran into a predator with a fox who wants to eat them, and they had to think, what can we do to get out of this problem? And so they decided to trick the fox, the sly fox, but they tricked him um, by singing one last song that never ends, and they'll never get eaten. All right, my friends, hopefully you enjoyed the story today. Um, I can't wait to read to you guys tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday, my loves. Bye.